Winners Talking. Yes, we're in. Winners, Come on. Winners Talking podcast episode 15. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Yeah, my. I'm not even in the long talk today. Now nah, going straight into it. Big guest in the building with us today. Big guest. Iconic. Iconic. Been doing it. Legendary. Legendary. Been doing and it. I don't throw them words out easy, but we have to pay mm-hmm. respect where respect is due. Yeah, my. You know, one of the original Dungargans. You know yeah, them trust ones there. Me, trust me. Must be respected, must be held up. We got yeah. Richard Blackwood in the building Come with on. us hey, today. Big up, big up, love, brother. Yeah, 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 Come yeah, on, yeah, 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 yeah. It's an honor, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just, I mean, I've said, I spoke to you guys individually, mm. yeah. but it needs to be put out there on camera. I, besides the one that's going out now, because obviously I'm here. I have not missed one episode. Come on. Not Appreciate one. That, bro, no, bro. I'm being serious. Not one. And, you know, the podcast, it's it's the opinion of the people that are on the show, yeah? Mm-hmm. Right? It's their it's their view on life and what's mm-hmm. going on. And some of them, you might not agree with their view, so you just don't tune in because it's like, that's not really me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you guys, there's just something about it that you, there's a realness, which is what it has because you both are real dudes, as we know. But it's, I think it's probably the first time I've seen guys that you know are official tissue, not overly bigging up the ting, right? So that the youths that are watching kind of, because re- people always say, no, we're trying to do the positive. Yeah. But you can hear they secretly still pushing the narrative that maybe the streets is a good place to be, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, 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 when yeah. they know that they've got some horror stories. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, and as I say, I come from it. I'm, I was never that way. My brother, he knows my brother. My brother was a serious dude. My dad, everything. So I came from him. I got a cousin called Super. People know. I got mm. my family's about yeah. that life. Mm. But I'm the only one that went to uni. It was like Richard. My dad was like, <laughs> "You ain't like us. You're going uni." Yeah, yeah, Remember yeah. the first time I got robbed, and mm. you know, I put my hands up to fight the guy, and the guy pulled out a knife, and I just went, "Nah." Didn't really want it. You know like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but. The first part was good because mm. I put my hands up mm. and he looked at me and he goes, I ain't fighting you. And I went, oh, right. And he pulled out the stick. Mm. <laughs> right? But oh, I remember... We're doing it like this, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realise those were the rules, mm. right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I remember like, um, and the first thing my uncle said is, I don't know how you're going to tell your dad. Because yeah. my dad is that guy. Mm. And I remember the first, and, but I respected him because when I said it to him, his first words were, blood clot, man. Then he went, no, you're not like me. And that's what I wanted. He goes, it's all right, let me deal with it and blah, blah. And we got the guy, blah, blah, whatever. But that was the moment where I knew it's like, you are not like, th- you're this way for a reason because you're supposed to take the name and take it over there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yes. I mean? And yes. my dad was always... Talk to them. No, 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 no. That, <laughs> I, this, this is the reason why I really love what you guys mm. do because, you know, people will see me on TV and they think I don't come from nowhere. Yeah. Because, you know, Richard speaks a certain way and he's not, he don't really understand it. And it's like, so what I say to people is, I'm the equivalent of what some of you road guys' kids are now, mm. right? Because yeah. my dad was a my dad had a big house with a swimming pool mm. off of that, mm. yeah. right in Purley. Mm. So yeah. you know he was successful at mm. it. Yeah, Do you yeah. understand what I mean, right? So, and his thing was that he didn't want his kids to go down the same road as him mm-hmm. yeah. because he knew that he, when he was young he was in that prison all of his life and blah blah. And he always used to say. I just want to have a house with all my kids in it. Yeah. Simple. Do you know what I'm saying? That was oh, the fully. dream. Yeah, yeah. Fully. yeah. Fully. I just want to have a house with all the kids in it. Nobody's kicking off the door. Yeah. It's just a lovely household. And one day he actually got it. He, all of us was running around fighting, mm. blah, blah. And he looked and he went, I've done it. Mm-hmm. So think about it. That was all his dream was. Of course. Right? So then years before, we was in a car and... So he was on Railton Road. That's when Railton Road was live, yeah? So I remember he um, we was driving and he said... He was driving he goes... Do you know what I do, son? So I must have been about 14. And I said, I have a fair idea, mm. right? And he goes, okay, look. He never ever said the words. He said, look, I got into this realm because growing up when I did, there was no choices. And I'm built for it. He goes, but when you see, and he goes, but I never celebrate it. He goes, it's not to be celebrated. He goes, when you see these guys celebrating it, he goes, they're fools. He goes, I'm telling you they're fools. Mm-hmm. He goes, because when they've been kidnapped before mm-hmm. or when, they, when they've, they've not had the re-up money or whatever, whatever, mm-hmm. he goes, trust me, it's peak. Mm-hmm. Right, do you know what I mean? <laughs> right, but they're not telling you all. He goes, but he goes, I'll be inside. Because my dad, you know, he'd be locked up. It's nothing to him. But he goes, he would see people locked up and he goes, on the road, they are serious. He goes, behind the bars, they're crying. Where you're mm-hmm. looking, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Man goes, I can't. 
And he's looking at them like, but on the road, people wouldn't know that you're that mm -hmm. yeah. soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they're or they're protective. They're not even out with the the population like that mm -hmm. because they were, might get moved to, but they're afraid to still be out there with mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? But on the streets, they've got those names. Mm -hmm. So because he taught me that side, I, it made it even easier for me to go, no, that's just, that's not for me. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. definitely not for me. Yeah. So then I fast forward and I listen to you guys talk. And even when you guys are talking about, <laughs> it was funny, Bay mothers and getting them to do the re-up money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was dead because I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, hold on a minute, these guys are spending their Bay mothers re-up money. <laughs> no, no lies told. No, no lies told. But you, yeah, no you, you guys taught me something mm. because I didn't know that because I just thought these guys are making pee and they're yeah. clubs no, no, and no, no. Not everything is what you see with these guys. There's a lot of flipping mm. facade yeah, and yeah. imagery and they're trying yeah. to portray like it's a certain way but yeah, it's not United but that's States. what the podcasts are for to give a look behind our perspective and to show on certain mm -hmm. things that was what you've just said there is one of the reasons why i wanted you here anyway because i know there's people that have a misconception of you mm -hmm. yeah. and the environment that you come from yes. i know the environment yeah. that you come from yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. i know to come from that environment to be bold enough to be different yeah is yeah. something within itself it's starting to be applauded 100. you understand because it takes because the environments where we're from, everyone's like, you need to be this or you need they they we celebrate a lot of the nonsense. Yes, we do. More than we celebrate certain, you know, yeah. A man going like you said, went to uni, mm -hmm. you went to, yeah, yeah. like yeah. and that's what I'm trying to say. So but there is always that those kids that went off to uni and did this, that other, and now here you are, you yeah, understand, yeah, yeah, with yeah. longevity and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me bust a champagne to that. Yeah, bust it up to Let me bust a champagne to that. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we've got, we've got Big RB in the building. Big yeah, yeah, yeah. You drinking? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you were heading your champagne. Yeah, I might go with the champagne. Let's go with the champagne. <laughs> come, of course RB's going to go with the champagne. <laughs> Come on, dark liquor. Come on, Wait, knows. you are the dark liquor specialist, you know. Yeah, come on, and then he just goes toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Middle, in the middle, <laughs> of, in the, in the middle of the work. I said, hold on a minute. In the middle of the work. That's the reason why I love this show. In the middle of the work. Because while the show is going, he goes, yeah, one minute. I go, where are you going? And there was one the other day where it was, right, it was getting to the end of it, and I was ready to I, cut. But I weren't, I weren't letting him out that time. And you don't see it, but behind the scenes, the way they're just cutting from scene to scene, I'm all like, listen, I'm glad to get out of here, bro. I've <laughs> never seen someone never. go to the toilet mid-shoot. That's Douglas, though, man. No rules. Big, Big Doug, Doug. No, that's why this Big is the Doug. best podcast, because yeah, I've never seen that before. And then it just cuts back to him feeling fresh, like, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Like I never left. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've seen time I got a fresh glass. Because yeah. yeah. like... you've done everything. Let's, let's, let's put this in perspective, first of all, because I, I don't think people really understand. Mm. Three decades? Yeah, just, just under now. There you go. Yeah. Just under three decades. Three that's decades, crazy man. longevity. No, let's, let's let's put that in perspective. That's yeah. real. Stand up comedy. Yeah. You you had the show, Richard Blackwood show. Yeah. 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 There was something going on and MTV as well. Singled walk. out. Sing there you go. Singled yeah. out. And and TRL, which was like our request show. Select. Yeah. Yeah. I remember yeah, that as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, that as well. Yeah, yeah. Not to mention two of the biggest shows in the country. Right. You can't get bigger soaps in this country yeah, yeah, than, yeah, than EastEnders and Hollyoaks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then Choice of Family. Come on, I was gonna get to that. Choice FM, I can't forget that yeah. DJ as well. Mm -hmm. One of the first to be playing my music yeah. on those kind of stations was. Do you know how I did that? Go on. Right. So, first things first, I didn't mean to cut you out of the way, but. No, please continue. Right. So, first things first, like, so when Channel U was big, yeah. yeah I'm, I mean, I'm older, but, but I'm a fan of the grime, especially mm -hmm. from back then, yeah, yeah, because yeah. I could see the potential in it. Mm -hmm. And I just loved the fact that we were spitting in our own tongue. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and and spitting our truth, and I, mm -hmm. I'm just as I said, I'm big on everyone winning. That's just my whole energy. Yeah, I concur. Yeah, so one, you. yeah, you know that mm -hmm. 100, right? Mm -hmm. So, so what it was was that there was a few people that I used to watch on Channel U that it just, I just was feeling, and I remember the first time I saw you do this for my dogs, mm. right? And then at the end, doesn't it cut to another song, and you're yeah, by yeah, the yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, wires? Yeah, yeah, got some glory. Listen. <laughs> when, I, <laughs> when it cut to that and yeah. I see you in the fence and I see the goons behind, yeah. right? And I was like, no, nah, this guy, look, there's something different. Yeah. So I was a fan of mm. the realness. So what I would do, this shows how mad it is. So I get my stereo, mm -hmm. plug it into the TV mm. and I would record it on CD. Mm. All the tunes that I thought were hard yeah. onto a burn it straight onto a CD, mm. oh, then yeah, carry it yeah, straight yeah. to work. Yeah, yeah. And because it was my show and they didn't 
uh, penalise me for what I played. Yeah. As long as there was no swearing, which it wasn't. But yeah, my yeah. thing is, is that, because I wanted people to also see that that's what it's about. It's not about making it successful. Thank you, sir. Making it successful and then it's just about you. Mm -hmm. Right, do you know what I mean? When you get to a position where you can, it's not always you have to, but when you can, sometimes just do that. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Because what it is with America is America has <coughs> that respect for the elders. Yeah. And Pound and I were talking about this on the phone. You hold on before you. No, say no, yeah, gun, gun. Bring me perfectly into because I haven't said it yet. Yeah. Subjects of the day because we all, you know, we always have a topic. Yeah, 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 yeah. You Let's know, go. we always have a topic. Yes, go. So in. the topic of the day mm -hmm. is we don't we don't support each other enough. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which I feel the RBs just kind of slid us into neatly. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So Real. please continue there, yeah, RB. No, no, no. It's cool. Uh, cheers, by the way, guys. Yeah. Salute. 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 Mm -hmm. salute. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Salute. Salute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what it is is that the Americans have always celebrated the people that came before. Yeah. Yes. They've understood what it was for the culture. Mm -hmm. So think about it, uh, Notorious B.I.G. died in what, 95, 96? Yeah, around yeah, about around that, that time, time yeah. yeah. Most of the rappers in America can still quote Biggie's tunes yeah. that are of this new millennial generation. Right. 100%. Mm. So, so these are the rappers that were born after Biggie died, mm. but they can still quote like it was all a dream and blah, 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 yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah. And it's because the culture begs for you to know it. Yeah, 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 you, yeah, yeah So you're yeah. not cool if you don't know it. If it yeah, comes yeah, yeah. on, you got to go, it was all a dream. Mm. Right? Or Ten Crack Commandments. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, everybody yeah, knows yeah, that yeah, tune. Yeah, right? Do yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so it's like, even if they don't know their music, they know who Run DMC is. Yeah. Right? They know who LL Cool J is. Who, and he was one of the first rappers because he got signed to Def Jam when it started. Yeah. But they know who he is. Yeah, mm. yeah, so yeah. whereas what I found out here is that we've got this culture where and I see it on Instagram a lot, where the younger generation are quick to just turn around and say you're old. Yeah. Mm. Right? And, and cancel it, you off. And, and cancel you, off. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing yeah. is, you're not even, like they'll say, yeah, man's 30, he's old. And you go, 30? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's just, he's just arrived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, means yeah. I'm dead. If you're looking at him, <laughs> right, and I'm 48, what do you <laughs> see when you see me? You yeah. see Skeletor. You can't see nothing. <laughs> like, 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 I don't yeah. know how he... RB isn't celebrated way, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, hundred percent. Celebrated yeah. way more than he is. Yeah, hundred percent. The 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 CV is ridiculous. Yeah, mm -hmm. where you're approaching thirty years in the game. Mm -hmm. Two of the biggest shows right now. Two of the biggest shows in the country. Mm -hmm. Hollyoaks, EastEnders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My mum knows RB. Yeah. yeah. We know RB. My mm -hmm. nine year old son knows RB from. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, so and all different types of people, even like at my gym. Come yeah. on, like, every, anyone. One of the women anyone. at my gym. Mm -hmm. See, so you post like commented on one of the things. She's anyone. Like, when I come in the gym, like she works at the gym. Yeah. Hey, hey like Mandy, come on. Da, da, da. She come in the gym. She's like, Rah, Richard Blackwood. But come but on. When you actually but, see what type of woman, she, she's not like from our walks of Doug, life. Yeah, you get Doug, what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like Hollyoaks and EastEnders aren't black shows. Yeah, that's what I'm These saying. These are yeah, national yeah, yeah. shows. So of course, yeah, people know them. And he's been a star on those shows. Yeah, yeah. So they have to. Everyone has to know who he is. Yeah. The, you brought it back to the to the block because he is of us. Yeah. So yeah. that's why in, in your head you're saying no, but this ain't but no, he's a national star. Yeah, that's yeah. why I say to come from where you heard what the man just said. He mm. just gave you a, a piece of where he's from originally. Mm -hmm. To come from where he's from, or to come from where we're from, and to ascend and go through one thing to the next, to the next, to the next, and to be at where he is now and what he's doing, mm -hmm. we should be celebrating yes, him more. 100%. But I don't see it. No. But what it is, but I know it's when he was going through his bad time, everyone was quick to yeah, say yeah, something. Everyone, everyone had, everyone something, had to something to say. <laughs> everyone had something to say. And it was a black publication that posted me on the front page. I remember. Oh. Yeah. I was yeah. younger than but I remember. Yeah. They made a big thing of that. Mm -hmm. So why would we post up that and not be posting up all the successes? Yeah. And the grind. Yeah, yeah. that's why I like understand the what I'm you saying. When you was watching the podcast, Come and you had every, all the awards out, the watches out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let them know. That was a that was a real like grown man flex right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I'm letting them know. Yeah, you know what it is. It's my mum's got a state a statement that she always used to say. My grandma before that you're old for a, uh, uh, you're young for a short time and you're old for a long time. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. If you think about your young years effectively, from the time your, your young years where you can have fun and not need to worry about anything is from when you can concept things, which is I would say about three, four, when you can talk and blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And then by the time, especially if you're a boy, by the time you're 16, I said to my son, okay, you need to start making money now, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Or working or doing mm -hmm. something, because mm -hmm. now you're 16. Yeah. So, but you know, I gave him an extension to 18. Yeah. But even if you think about that, that's only 15 years. Yeah. If my son get, get, lives to be 70, 80, he spent 
50 odd years mm. as being an adult and he's only had what 15 years of being a child where he doesn't need to worry about anything mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how many times does 15 go into 50 this is what I'm trying to say yeah. people don't understand that you are old for a long time and then it's all by perception so when you're 30 somebody who's 20 is saying you're old yeah. and you're like yo I was your age only 10 years ago yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah, do you understand yeah, what I'm saying yeah. but to them Move out, and that's yeah. this generation. Move out the way. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, my yeah. time mm -hmm. now, yeah. right? And it's like, no, the reason why I'm in the way is I'm still punching these doors down mm. that you can't see, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that okay. you can Clearing go Clearing the way. Yeah, yeah, clear in the way. Because what you guys are doing right here, you've got to understand, in 10 years' time, the kids that are going to follow you will be billionaires from the first, sh the first show. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you guys are setting it up. You've got to mm -hmm. think about it. You mm -hmm. was there doing music. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And perfect you spoke example. about it. Yeah. Perfect example. Right? Yeah. yeah. And you know you had to be on your grind to make mm -hmm. paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you're yeah. seeing people come through now that got a single mm -hmm. and you see them buying Rolexes and you go, yeah, on yeah. a single? Uh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But the difference is we don't begrudge them that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I celebrate that. Yeah, yeah. Get out I'm, you I'm, I'm, it. I'm yeah. comfortable with it and I'm fine. And if I was part of setting pace for that, great. And I know you're the same. Yeah. But in reverse... Yeah, you're right. They want you out. Ah, uh, you didn't old man. Come, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, understand yeah. what I'm saying? But so, I also feel like the generations have changed as well. Like you say, like I feel like the forties are the new thirties because I feel oh, like yeah, the, the, the people in their twenties now. When I like when I was like younger, like in my teens, and I looked at twenty year olds, like that generation were getting married, buying houses. That's no, right. it's and, definitely a different. Yeah, group, like it's, it's really like, moved it's on. Like, Nikos always says to me, "There's a difference between like." our dads and that how they were dressing and how yeah, they were yeah, moving yeah, yeah. when they were them ages you know like yeah, that yeah, yeah. they were dressing a bit mad still yeah, yeah, they weren't yeah. really you know the yeah. man them were a bit more look see rich coming his big jordans yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah, come yeah, on yeah, yeah. swagging it off this match my my, my club come on hey, come on hey, put, put it out there let them know just let people know this is my clothing line i'll be pressuring them in the clothing line i'll be pressuring them online bare bare photos you know yeah don't put it on them got them weak I watch watching, I, I, I see you, you know. I had to get him, I had to get him. No, no, no. I see you, you know. You man love, you man love the grab. Yeah. No, he knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, so he it. was on the podcast, you see, he don't want me to talk about it. He was on the, he, he was on the podcast it. talking about, look, I had my top off. Certain man ain't liking the picture. I like the picture. Right. <laughs> he right. said yeah, it with yeah, his chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said it with his chest. So I took a picture, right, my top off. I see him swipe clean past my picture. <laughs> but oh my god! But listen, <laughs> after, I, after you feeling motivated off the talk, nah, nah. But hear what? But, but listen, thank you, Doug. Listen, hear what? I explained it. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. I explained it. He was in bed, Doug. Oh, bed chest. Yeah. <laughs> He's in bed. We we'll arch out his back. That, that, that picture was for us. I couldn't that do that. That picture was for us. If he went in bed, that I was, was like, yeah, that one was for us. I looked at it. I said, I looked at it. I said, that's my guy. But I can't. He's in bed. He was giving it that. He was trying to give it the dreamy eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know all of that. That picture worked for me. That one worked for me. That, that worked for me. That so that us. one, as, you know, I was with him in spirit. I couldn't like it. No, nah, bruv, I was dead. that one worked for me. I was dead. That catch was my, so catch my moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And then this one's benching full plates like it's nothing. No, like, no, come on. Bruv, I'm unassisted. In. Yeah, unassisted, that's it. Because that's what people don't realise, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, when so you're unassisted. That. Unassisted, yeah. next level. Yeah, I hear yeah, people yeah. talk about, because I can do three plates for fun. Four, it's not my it's not my game. Right, but I say to people, they go, oh, I can bench, you know, three plates. And I go, and I always say, unassisted. That's yeah. the most Then all of a sudden, there's a peer stuttering. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. like, no, no, if a person <laughs> even has to take the bar off for you, yeah, that's, that's assisted. Yeah, 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 that yeah, means yeah. if no one's there, you can't do it by yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. do two twenties and a 10. Yeah. That's your mm -hmm, personal mm -hmm. best. So but let's the, just keep it where it is. is uh, with that, yeah, it's like, what we got is the thing is, if you take it off, you got to put it back. So it's like, that's the thing. So you, if you know you're going up to the four plates and you take it off, you got to put it back. Yeah, man, just yeah, filming you. Yeah, that is yeah, it. Yeah, that's yeah. the assistance. You're just filming. Yeah, yeah. And that's, yeah. that's, that's the assistance, man. Come on. It. You know no, no, saying? I saw it. Yeah, I went, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, calmly, brother. Big Doug. Yeah, yeah we do it. 20 man. stone Doug, you know, 20, big strong. 22 now. That was going 22? on. 22? Podcast got man bro. eating good food. No, yeah. you're strong, man. Yeah, you're yeah, strong. Yeah, yeah, you're strong guy. Now, if he runs after you and catches you, it's a world yeah, of Yeah, yeah, man's quick yeah, as well. I don't know if you can Yeah, I know you guys are football. That's what yeah, makes it yeah, work. So like, <laughs> <laughs> clear. Yeah, 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 yeah. They better get a what couple of yards in front, huh? What position do you play? Up top. Oh, yeah, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look a striker. Can you imagine something? Big striker, actually. Him? But they're on, man. Like, like when I come on, they yeah, don't have it off him. Like, yeah, 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 yeah they, they, they make a point yeah, of yeah, trying to go hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're from yeah, 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 South, yeah, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, both South East. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So are you Woolwich? Mm-hmm. Okay, and where are you? Lewisham. Lewisham, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right, Woolwich and that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So around there, back in when you guys were going, it must have been really, especially Woolwich. Yeah, Woolwich was mad. We used to have the BMP march from... 
clubs yeah, did come and down to the BNP office in Welling. Like, but, uh, so this is why sometimes even I talk like not to change it or go anywhere. Go anywhere but you see, you like want, when people talk about racism mm. and a lot of people get offended by some of the things they see on social media. Sometimes I'm like, like <laughs> you don't know. No, yeah, yeah you don't yeah. know because. Mm. Remember when the BNP used to march? We used, like where we lived on Kings Highway, they would mm. walk down Kings Highway to bust a left onto Wickham Lane. We was seventy one, mm. so we just like when they used to march. My mum used to come and stand outside, mm. and I used to come and chill outside with her. Mm. Rags. That time was a different time. So like when they talk about racism and all of this, and it's mm. not like I'm I blase it because, mm. but I just feel like if people grew new. up in that generation, it's nothing, it's nothing new. It's nothing new. It's nothing new, and it's I feel been like going on. It's yeah. been going on. Racism has been alive. They've just been concealing yeah, yeah, it. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. And, and when, so when people get offended by the little things they might see on social media, I'm just like, I, I get been, it. I've been getting this. But you don't understand. But this, this is the point, on. though. Yeah. I don't mean to cut you, brother, but this is exactly the point I'm making. So there is no love being shown to the mm. elders and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. There's more hate yeah. that's been shown. But it's a time period where you guys have got it easy. Yeah. So you're vexed for no reason. It's like yeah. a rebel without a cause, mm -hmm. right? It's like, hold on a minute. We have cleared the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys have got a nice clear run, yeah, right? Man. So give, I'll give a prime example. My son, right? My son's from Hackney, he's from Clapton, mm. right? He's 19 years old and he, you know, I'm, I'm blessed, man. He's such a good boy. He's not in no nonsense. He's not trying to be a part of the mix mm. up, blah, blah, blah. But like part of it was the little things I would always instrument. Mm. Right. So the first thing I always say is that you're not better than me. That's the first thing, always. right? Because we made that quite clear in you growing up that mm. you will not be that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. his mum was from Hackney and she was a real girl from Hackney. Mm. I was from Stratton Brixton. You know what I mean? And mm. I could look after myself. I wasn't mm. that, but I could look after myself. So it's yeah. cool. Yeah. Mm. So here's the thing: when he was growing up, the first time, because there's little moments in there growing up that you have to nip things in the bud. So he had a blackberry, and I remember, you know, you put the title of their name on the blackberry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He put a name. So his name's Kians, so he put Bad Boy K, right? <laughs> yeah. Bruv, as I saw it, I typed it and I went, you better take that down, because <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. bad old boy in you, yeah, right, yeah. do you know what I mean? I said, you're not badder than me, so I said, we need to come up with something different yeah. today. Yeah. And he literally changed it to Swagger K, and I said, now Swagger? Mm -hmm. yeah, we, we, have we, have we have that, we have that, we have that all day long. Right, do you know what I mean? That, you know, but, you need, I get your number pair one ten. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we keep the Swagger right. Yeah, but you're not bad, because I said, here's the thing. Yeah. You will get the wrong person that already doesn't like you yeah. looking and go, oh, you're bad, yeah? Oh, okay, let me Do not you. give that person the reason yeah, that's because right. you're a nice guy. That's right. Right, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? And you can circumvent through right nicely as long as you keep that about you. I mean, he, I've got him into boxing now so he you know, can look after himself. But even still, my thing is like, don't call that onto you because it can come regardless. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right, do you know what I mean? But the reason why I do what I do, the reason why your mum does what she does is to make sure that you can be from Hackney, yeah. but you don't need to bout about that. So you can be streetwise, but not road. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. The yeah, same yeah. way my dad made sure I was streetwise, but I wasn't road. Yeah. yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Fully. Right. Yeah. And that's, this is where, as I say, because now, and I'm sure you guys can attest to this, all I'm seeing is that Everybody thinks that they're rogue. Everybody, yeah, yeah, yeah everybody. Yeah, 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 I go, what? It, yeah. What part of the and game got, is this? And they don't yeah, even yeah. understand now the real severities, hardships. Yeah, because you see, when we was growing up, mm. when we was all growing up, you didn't see something to you physically saw, saw it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, get yeah. what That's I'm right. saying? Like, right. if you saw right. something happen, yes. because you saw it. Saw if you was it. in a rave and it went off, you mm -hmm. saw it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, and then when you part, like, even when man comes and tells you a story, you can't visualize because you weren't there. Mm -hmm. But it's like now, because of social media, everyone's seeing man doing this, stabbings, all of a sudden, everyone feels like they know what's going on because they're seeing it. Mm -hmm. And it puts them in a category where they feel like, well, like, you know what I mean? Like, mm. man can, like, it's desensitizing them to the point where they actually think that that's them. Do you know mm. what I mean? If you get what I'm trying to, moment. you know what I mean? Until, until, say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Real yeah. moment. Until you had a gun in your face. I had yeah, a gun yeah, in my yeah. face in the West End. Mm -hmm. Right, the man, and he was from Deptford. Remember, and so I knew he was about that. Yeah, right? yeah. Right, and I remember he pulled a thing on me in my bedroom. I, and it was so funny, because like, literally now, because I'm still here, but I remember when he, he pulled it, and he goes like, he was trying to, and the, the, what I was wearing wasn't real, so it's like, you can have that. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But I remember my friend was trying to get the drop on him. Yeah, right, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So he had the gun to my friend and my friend's still starting to edge forward. Yeah. Mm. So he realized, oh, bullets don't scare you. Yeah, yeah, so he yeah. just put the gun right to my head and said, make another move. Yeah. And I remember I went, yo! Amen. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey, man. laughs> just pause, innit? Yeah. Just cool now. Just cool now. Just cool now. I've got man like that around me. Sidestepping like on some. I said, what do you think you're doing? No, 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 no. There's some, I'll be this man like that, trust me. 
like that. Yeah. Man like that. Yeah. Man like that. I've yeah. got man like that on this. Yeah. No, yeah. bro. Then when he read off, he was like, let's go and run him over. I said, yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. Salute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salute. Yeah, Salute. Yeah, Salute. Yeah, man, <laughs> but I can one. feel both sides of the coin in that yeah. situation. Yeah. yeah. You know them ones like I can feel fully where RB's coming from yeah. because RB's owning his lane. Yeah, yeah, Let yeah. Let me yeah. get home safe to my yeah, family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. My br- your guy is saying death before dishonor. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he's not necessarily right. Yeah. RB could be, the, could be the smarter man in the situation because mm. look at RB. He's yeah. still here yeah, 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 living. Yeah, 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 you understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, What's yeah, a fucking yeah. little trinket? Take the watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's my son, I'm telling him, get, get them it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get them yeah, it yeah, what yeah, they yeah. want. You've always trained though. You trained yeah, yeah, martial yeah, yeah. arts, right? Yeah, yeah. Going I know through. you have as well. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So what I did, I so my dad did Wing Chun mm. from young. Mm-hmm. So like he, so my dad's story was that he was, when he was inside, he was slim. So he trained and got bigger, blah, blah, blah. And then he started to, and he could always fight, but then he did martial arts because he wanted to understand the science of fighting. Mm-hmm. So then when I was 13, I was growing up in the 70s and 80s when Kung Fu films were big. Yeah. So like Snake in the Monkey Shadow and all yeah, those Jackie yeah, Chan films, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so I was turned on by that. Mm-hmm. You know, I was, I was into like Benny the Jet Equides and all these names. I, I used to buy combat magazines and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. So my dad uh, signed me up with Wing Chun in St. Leonard's Church in Stratham. And I was doing that. Um, I learned, learned, there's three forms to Wing Chun. I learned the first form and I was like, okay. But Wing Chun is a very complicated system because you learn a bong sao, but you don't know exactly how to use that mm-hmm. in a real fight. Because, you know, as I got older, I realized that a lot of martial arts doesn't work in real time. Yeah. As you Correct. know. Right? I've, I've got a cousin that does Kung Fu as well. And he says the same thing now yeah. about Wing Chun. He's a Wing Chun. I think he's a second degree black belt. Oh, really? He's, he says he found a lot of it doesn't translate. But anyway, carry No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Yeah, but I didn't works. know this. Mm. So then, so this was my journey with martial arts. So then I did Taekwondo because I've got long legs. Mm. Right? So I was like, and I knew I could, if I, I'm six foot. So if I kick some mm. crescent, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Mm. So I got good at that. Do you know what I mean? I was good at, and I had a bit of the hands from the Kung Fu. Mm. So then um, I moved. And I moved to Brixton Hill and I was like, I, I need to find something else. So then um, I started doing Muay Thai in Eltham, mm-hmm. right? With a, a guy called uh, Lee, um, Lee the War Chief, they call him. And he was training me and, um, and I loved it because I loved, because like, here's me thinking, I understood yeah. the science of fighting in real time. Mm-hmm. And I really didn't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man was just, I mean, man's friend jabs and just thumping me in my face. And I'm like, how is it? Am I trying to flick it? Yeah! <laughs> That's what these Kung Fu men do. That's what these Kung Fu men do. I love them Kung Fu men when they come to spy, you know? Man's trying to, yeah, man's trying to... <laughs> them Kung Fu men are on some sweet boy thing. I'm just like, bap bap. You don't actually punch it <laughs> yeah, through yeah, that. Yeah. Rob, you yeah, can't, yeah. when you do this. No, 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 that's it. That's when you're that's laughing. Not, and then, yeah. this is, but once again, mm-hmm. so, so I had to realise, right? He knows, right? I know. Right? Yeah, yeah. So then I was like, oh, no, I don't know if I like the feeling of this. So I was doing my Muay Thai and, like, mm. you know, I was doing that for a while. I felt good about that. Then I stopped doing that. Uh, it was Tama Hussein that owned it, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? So then I, one of the best ones I did was a, a guy called Sifu Mark Davis, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, and he is, I, cl- I liken him, I call him the rebirth of Bruce Lee. Yeah. So he's got a style called MD Kung Fu. Yeah. But what he's, and he trains down in, uh, uh, by Crystal Palace going down the hill there. Mm-hmm. And I remember I, I, I was doing, uh, uh, what was the Bruce Lee's one, Jit Kundo. Yeah. And I, it was good, but the teacher was, I found him a bit lazy. And also he didn't understand Wing Chun so for me, I was like, you, that, that means you don't understand the basic principles of Jeet Kune Do, yeah. because it's, it's what Bruce Lee did was he had cut out two of those moves because his thing was the direct, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. And Wing Chun was building a bridge in the process of getting to hit, but in real time, if you're fighting a boxer, mm. he's jabbing and it's coming back. You haven't got time to build the bridge and do whatever. His <laughs> hand's already back here, right? <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> but, Correct. No, but you see, if you Correct. understand the science of no, fighting, okay. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, okay. so when you, so that, when you go back to the original forms, when you see people do that, yeah. you anybody that does mm-hmm. this in real life, mm-hmm. look what's open. <laughs> <laughs> All <laughs> of this. Facts. Big facts. <laughs> do you teach your son? You know the drill yeah, yeah, yeah. from early, like you said. Um, but that's good to have. I want early. him to. My thing for the outlook is make him understand it, but not be of it, and make him just be able to handle himself in in certain scenarios. It's yeah. such a lovely thing to hear mm. that because, and also people sleep on the floor grappling stuff. 
Yeah. Nine times out of ten, you can be taken down to the floor quite easily. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. But when you're comfortable on the floor, yeah. mm-hmm. like if somebody's on top of you and you're just relaxed like this, they don't know what you're doing. You're just mm-hmm. conserving your energy. And what you're doing is you're waiting to hear them breathe a bit different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, you know, yeah. man's trying to get in and you're going, no, I'm all right. Just covered, covered, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. I'm yeah. covering all the bits, mm-hmm. right? But he's like, mm, mm-hmm. uh, uh, and whatever. He's trying to punch you. Like, pam, pam, it's all right. Mm-hmm. He's calm. Yeah. Then who you, as soon as you hear, <sighs> Mm, because yeah. now I know you have yeah. nothing to fight me back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I'm... And they don't realise that four grappers, like, so one, one of my friends, once again, right? Winston, big him up, right? Big, big guy, right? Mm. We're hey, sparring, and he rushed me, mm. and he, he just gave me his head. You know when they tried to take it down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went, Gillotine, uh, guillotine mm-hmm, choke mm-hmm, that mm-hmm, out, man. I said, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, fam. Hey, fam. What, what, what are you doing? doing? <laughs> As you see, getting deep. What are you doing? You know, because you went like this. Bruv, yeah. You both fell down. You mad man, what are you saying? And, like, <laughs> and he was like, hey, hey. And I said, if I was not your friend, you'd be dead. Yeah, I've been telling bro, my bro. guys yeah. this for about 10 years. From when everyone was lifting the whole gym, maybe longer. And I say to them, gym's boring now. you got to be mm. doing something else as well. Yeah. I used to tell them, listen, the most unassuming man that's gonna you're gonna road rage with is gonna turn you over because he's yeah, been training yeah, yeah. for yeah, a hot he, minute. Yeah, yeah. And he, he you're just... gonna be coming out with your big tick self, <laughs> and he's just gonna. Yeah, and before you can even go, yeah, whoop, yeah. he's gonna pop, 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 choke you, <laughs> and leave yeah, you, yeah, and yeah. leave you on the side of the road, yeah, and get back in his car and drive off. Yeah, yeah. Trust me. No, hold on. Can yeah. we just talk about your guys though? Because we said it off camera. Yeah. So if anybody remembers when you see pounced on his videos. It's like you had to be of a certain level of a gym membership <laughs> <laughs> to be in the video, right? Yeah, yeah. Even the girls looked like they worked out. Everybody was yeah, fit, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah, I bet, yeah. and the faces that you know when the man's yeah. scowling, you go, Rah. like yeah. you think he's actually really looking at you. Yeah, right? yeah, fam, yeah, just take the change, fam. <laughs> listen, it's Rah, the man said I want with kidnappers. I said, did he say kidnappers? <laughs> <laughs> Think about it, you know, specific, mm-hmm. right? They all do individual crimes. Yeah. <laughs> this one, <laughs> this one is the, one the kidnapper. You say that, you say that. Yeah, that's what you say. I yeah. did, I did, I did. Bruv, I, no, it was it hard. It yeah, was hard. It back, but that video was wavy. I used to I love like that tune. It was groundbreaking at the time. time. It was groundbreaking. Love that tune. Yeah, it was groundbreaking. Breaking, yeah. One thing I've learned in this journey called life that I'm on is that sometimes people don't give you your flowers at the time when you know in your heart you deserve it. 100%. Yeah, 100%. But what yeah. happens is this. It's 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 the perseverance that God pays attention to. Yeah. Right? Course. That God looks and goes, you know what? But you're still going. Mm-hmm. These people are laughing at you. Like when mm-hmm. I went bankrupt, listen, man. The laughter that so, I got from the black community, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was a real, real, I'm, I'm just yeah. one person. Right, I'm just one person. It's yeah. not like I'm walking with a team where on on site mm-hmm. a man's moving mm-hmm. to you because you say something. Mm-hmm. Like I'm by, by, by myself and people just find it. And people come and go, rah, I see you back, you're doing well. You're broke though, innit? Just so he could have a little yeah. laugh with his yeah, boys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? And it was madness. So the, That's so, why it's sweeter now. It's sweeter now because, by and far. but I think that's part of the reason why the love sometimes isn't there because people, listen, there's people in the industry that don't want me here. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like, and I, this is the first time I've said it, mm-hmm. right? But it's the truth because yeah. People don't like that. What do you mean he's still here? But yeah. what I say to people, so when I put my post, and my post is about positivity, mm-hmm. but what I also say to those people is that, listen, what God has ordained, you can't falter, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, really. right? Yeah. So sometimes you just have to leave and let be mm-hmm. because that's God's work. Because see, people don't understand this. Okay, when we look at someone like uh, a Prince or a Michael Jackson or blah, blah, <laughs> and the things that they, the longevity they had, and even with mm-hmm. the adversity, but how far they went, the reason we are just stories, mm-hmm. and I say this to people at home, mm-hmm. you are just stories for the next person coming up. That's right. You're yeah. just a book for the yeah, next yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. So, yes, you're going to get haters and blah, 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 but that's also a part of that book. Mm-hmm. But the per- that person in the book that's a hater is just a chapter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not the book. Yeah. The book or the movie is about you, yeah, right? So what you've got to do is you've got to stay on the course of the movie. You finish yes. that movie once it's finished. Yeah. You finish it. You cannot let somebody stop you stop you at a chapter, mm-hmm. right? Because just think, I mean, yes, they could say what they're saying, but just think about what it's done for you as a story. Mm-hmm. People don't want to read a book where it, the, from page one to page 100, it was just smooth sailing. Mm-hmm. You don't want to read that book. You want to read a book where when it gets to a certain part, it gets dark. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Because now you because nine times then you go, okay, I can start to relate to this. Yeah. And you're reading this and you go, did you know that my man was going? You didn't yeah. even, and then you start doing that. And what it does, it starts to resonate with that part mm. of your brain that goes, mm. I was just about to give up. Mm-hmm. And now I've realized, like Will Smith, he was, listen, Will Smith used to stand outside clubs that he couldn't get into no more, mm. hoping he would see somebody he recognized that would get him in. Mm. Yeah. So he could be a part of the clientele, mm. yeah. right? I remember, <laughs> I remember he hosted the Smash Hits Awards when he wasn't famous anymore. Mm. And you remember that group? No, 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 yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the girl was Chris in that group. There was the guy and the yeah, girl, yeah? yeah. No, no, she was Chris. She was a Chris. Yeah, yeah, right? Chris. No limit. No li- oh, look yeah. at that. No, he knows the name. <laughs> bro, that was my era. I grew up them times. <laughs> no limit. That was it, right? So I remember, and they're Swedish. I grew up in Sweden. So yeah, I remember, yeah. I was like, oh, they're Swedish as well. So anyway, I remember, this is how much he had fallen off. Mm. I remember seeing him hosting and they closed the show. Mm. And the words that came out of my mouth was like, "Raw, Will Smith's going to meet the girl from No Limit. Mm. Will Smith was a star. Mm, and I'm going, yeah. he's going to meet the girl from No Limit. Because mm. I held her in higher esteem at that point mm. than him, even though he was Will Smith. Yeah. But at that point, he was just Will trying to do a ting. Yeah. He, he didn't have the Fresh Prince then. Oh, right. Mm. So before Fresh Prince? Yeah, So because remember, I was a fan of, Will was only a couple years older than me. Yeah. So mm. I was a fan of Will when he was a rapper. Yeah. Right, I mean, I used to, when he, he goes, I can beat Mike Tyson, I was a fan of him then. Mm. Yeah. And then when he fell off, just like, oh, well, he disappeared, he was good, but, yeah. so then he was doing shows over here, trying to make money and doing little oh, things. Shit. Yeah, 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 people School wouldn't remember that. Yeah. We didn't know that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So he hosted the Smash Hits Awards. I don't know how much he would've got paid, but he was doing it to make money, yeah. right? Then he got the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Mm. Then obviously he blew up and he got bad boys and blah, 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 mm. right? But when you see his story, people turned their back on him, mm. laughed at him. Right now, Will Smith is iconic. Will Smith, yeah, one of so the highest paid actors at one in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I look at that, and there's two things that I now try to represent. Mm. I can't cover the 40s and the 30s no more. You guys have got that covered, mm. right? And you're what you guys, if you're not sure, well, I believe you know anyway. But just to kind of re re stamp it, you guys are now showing this young generation that you come from where you come from but there's a new outlet now that you can come out from, mm-hmm. right? I mean, and you can really make a difference and you can change the lives of so many that come from where you come from because they understand it. Mm-hmm. I'm nearly 50. Mm-hmm. So now I'm trying to represent the the, the 50 year olds. It's like, you're still in the game, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. Don't let yeah. nobody tell you that you're old just because they think you're old, yeah, yeah. right? Do you yeah. know what I mean, I'm 50 and I, you still are bothered by me, yeah. right? Made you think, love him to death. Made you think, yo, when I did the same top of made you think, go, bro, Yo, I'm a fan, man. Can you allow that picture? Can we go back? <laughs> but he's my boy, isn't it? Right? But what he was saying is, I love you, brother. I can't. Do you know what I mean? Can we go back to. So I just laughed and I went, yo, we go back to regular programming. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But what he was saying is, I love you, though. Yeah, right? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 so yeah. I understood that, you know what, made you think, I get it. Right? Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, I'll always still cater to the ladies because that's my, my lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. But at mm-hmm. the same time, Push the fact that you've even well. reached Push out. Hard, mm-hmm. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. It's like, and I'm 50 nearly. Mm-hmm. Right? Do you know what I mean? You're that's why you can push it even differently. I'll be, I'll be, though. Oh, we're gonna, hold on. You push that lane hard. The gallop syrup. syrup. Yeah, because we have to, we have to, we have to establish. Not even sugar syrup. No, no. Yeah, the gallop syrup. No, because you must understand something. Yeah. Listen, man. You got to know your lane. You got to know your lane. You gotta know yeah. your lane. If you still listen, do you know how many people would love to still have it at a certain point? Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, you yeah. still Facts have it, only because you know what, I wasn't good at playing. Let me tell you a story, right? <laughs> oh my god! Like, listen, the, the players out there. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> players out Ladies there. I've got he's a professional actor as well. But please continue. <laughs> go on, go on, go on, go on. Nah. <laughs> go on. Nah. <laughs> No. Hey, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. You know what? I already said it. You know when he's off camera, yeah, bare yeah, shuffling yeah. vapor, man. No, you know what? <laughs> you know what? I might, I might need a Coca Cola for this one. Yeah. I, wasn't <laughs> I was never good at play. Okay, so what happened was when I was growing up, mm-hmm. just to understand a bit of my history. So my uncle was a famous singer. Yeah, he did a song called "Mummy Used to Say" back in the eighties, named mm. Junior Giscombe. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So he was. We grew up in the same household, and uh, he was nineteen eighty two. I was ten. Mm. He's getting huge success mm-hmm. off of this single, America, blah, blah, blah. Mm. So he's coming back home, because I live with my grandparents at the time. Mm. He's coming back home and he's telling me mad stories. Yeah. Right? Mad st- Sorry, you got some dice. Love, love. Mm. Yeah. So he's telling me mad stories mm. about women that he was talking to, people that he knew, blah, blah. Mm. And I'm a kid, like a sponge, taking it all in. Yeah. Right? So then he would tell me that he's going out with this famous person that I just saw in a movie. And I'm like, mm. you're, going out, you're going out with her? Mm. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. 
I'm like, oh my God. Mm. So as I said, I'm a kid and it's impressionable, blah, blah, blah. Right? So then women will come around and I'll try and look, like he would lock the door and I'll try and look for the keyhole to see what's going on. Mm. Right? Like yeah, yeah, that yeah. little perv, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Because my uncle's got these fly I'm women coming around. To the window. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. to the wall. Yeah, like, <laughs> my cousin Nadine, in. who's a famous. In. Yeah, in. my cousin yeah. Nadine's a famous actress. She won a BAFTA, mm. Nadine Marshall. Mm. And like, we'll be uh, listening and laughing and blah, blah. But what it was is that Junior, what I love him, I mean, he's my uncle, but what I love him dearly for is that he showed me that there was no ceiling. You know, when you told me that your son saw me in an advert for something. Crystal he, Maze. Crystal Maze. Mm. And he said, brah, that's Richard blah, blah. Mm. See, this is part of the reason why I do what I do. Is that, you, your son's what, nine? Mm. Okay. So your son's nine years old. He's seen you guys do your show mm -hmm. every Sunday. He's seen people giving you the respect for your show. Mm -hmm. Remember, he's taken it in. Mm -hmm. Then he sees like me and you just reasoning, mm -hmm. right? Do you know what I mean? To the point where he's like, Dad, that's Richard, mm -hmm. just blah, blah. So now it's nothing. Oh, that's mm -hmm. just Richard, mm -hmm. right? So what he's starting to realize is that people of color, my family and then somebody I know, mm -hmm. right? Vicariously for my dad, they just do it. Mm -hmm. They just do it. So now, by the time he's nothing like teenager, mm -hmm. it is nothing to him mm -hmm. to Go do that. Yeah. Because guess what? I've grown up knowing only that. Yeah. So, the, so the reason, so I go back to the story. So the reason why I say in regards to my uncle, Rick James, people like that used to call the house. My uncle said that I used to answer the phone and speak to him for a bit. Mm. So one time he said that he, he was over doing a concert. So when they was in the car together, Rick goes, um, where's your nephew? He goes, I couldn't bring him. He's too old, but he's too, he's too young. He goes, that's your nephew, though, right? And he goes, like, he goes, Junior, that boy's going to get a lot of bitches when he gets older. <laughs> <laughs> he weren't lying. He weren't lying. That's he weren't what lying. Hey, he weren't lying. Rick James. He weren't lying. <laughs> right? Rick James. Uh, it's that moment. God, leave me and I'll be, we'll hold it. Yeah, you remember. That, bro, you've you seen it live now. You've you never seen this. It's gone to the toilet. Yeah, it's some hood shit. Some no, hood do you shit. know what? I love that. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, come mm -hmm. back. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, yeah, very yeah, yeah. real. It's, it's very real. That. It's but, about that. But yeah, so Rick James, uh, so people like Stevie Wonder would call the house, blah, blah. Mm, so geez. what I didn't realize as a kid, the same way I say about your son, mm. is that people that I was successful that were a color, being around me mm. was just the norm. Mm. So it's no longer a fantasy to now want to be in this business. Yeah, it's just, it's just, remember, you know, put, because, because you, a lot of people, to them, it's, it's, Inconceivable. Mm. Literally. You gotta remember, we've all said it. Mm. Man go to a uh, road nine times out of ten because they've seen it around their hood, mm. right? So they they see a man first hand drive up in the big whip and they go, rah, and he goes, That's you soon, you know, bruv. Right? Now he can tangibly touch him. Mm. So straight away, like building a bridge in Wing Chung, it's like, okay, so he's just held my hand, he just dapped mm. me, he's probably just give me a fiver and said, mm. go shop, go get one. Soon enough, I can be that because I know him. Mm. Do you know what I mean? When other kids come around and they see that, they go, Ross, so, so, and, and cause you know him, you go, what's up, bro? And he goes, what's up? And he goes, right, you know him. Mm. It's like, yeah. Now you don't realize that maybe he's a cousin or something, but mm. but it's it's just that thing that makes you feel like, yeah, I'm a part of that lineage. Mm. All right, do you know what I mean? So what it is, is that what we need to do, and this is why I say about embracing the people before us and blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah, is that we need to make that the normal. Right. See him here? Yeah? See him here. Yeah. I it's wouldn't be a winner talking if I didn't professionally hit the the I think you need to leave. The, I need, you need to leave the brown juice, brother. It's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> brown juice. Is hey, not you know what it was? I started like sipping from early. That's what it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, <laughs> yeah, go, go. You're all right, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> all right, mate. All right, all right Keith. Yeah, you know what? I mean? right. uh, Whatever, mate. Whatever you call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I'm from, this is called a wheat bladder. Yeah, I don't know, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're right though, RB. That's what it is. It's, it's, it's letting them visually see that things are yeah. possible. Yeah. That's why That's why there needs to be a kinship. That's why mm. there needs to be more... Because guys that were on the road before or people that maybe just took this road like I took, whatever it is, like my same Whisper that said it. Mm. Whisper goes, it's lovely that you're doing that show. Biggie Martin. Right? No, no, and he goes... Whisper again. Yeah. Down, no, no, Whisper, he said, it's lovely you're doing that show. He goes, because people need to see that you you know this mm -hmm, part as mm -hmm, well, mm -hmm. right? Because they, they know I know it, mm -hmm. but it's like, but he goes, but that's what it's about, it's the, the, the togetherness. Mm. And it's like, yeah, because what it's about is that the audience that we're, that are watching, mm. yeah, you've got some people that are on the road, blah, 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 but sometimes you've got some kids mm -hmm. that are at that point in their lives where yeah. they don't know which way to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they see 
two official men, people mm-hmm. behind the camera, very official, and then they see somebody that it's like, okay, he went a different route. Mm-hmm. But guess what? They're actually saying they respect him. Mm-hmm. So so now when I hear these people saying, oh, what are you going to call him? You're an idiot. I know that maybe that's just hate. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. 100 Do you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Now I can put it in the place it needs to go. Mm-hmm. But if I never saw this, I would take that as, no, that means something. Maybe I should yeah, take yeah. on board what they're mm-hmm. saying. No. Mm-hmm. Right, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's 100%. why, you know, I always say, like, I hate, bro, I hate with a passion. Maybe I'm just old. But I hate with a passion when I see these young guys in beef with each other. And I think, guys, you don't, you don't get it. First of all, let's just call it, let's just keep it 100. When you and I were kids or teenagers, mm. I used to do it in my stand-up. And I'll say, if you're walking, because I grew up at the time when Untouchables and 28s mm-hmm. were, were going hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. So my brother was a younger 28, mm, yeah. and I had a friend called Jason who was a part of the Untouchables. And I lived right at the top of Brixton Hill, so mm. they were either end, right? Mm-hmm. And they both went to my college, mm-hmm. right? But here's the thing. I never forget, I was at college one day, and my boy Jay, right? Short guy, he was, he was, he was a serious dude. And he called me in the bathroom. So I goes, what's up? I was in the common room. He called me in the bathroom. And he pulled out this ramp. Bruv, this thing was a mini sword, mm-hmm. right? He pulled out this sword. Mm-hmm. And just for the split second, I thought, are we in beef? Because he just, he literally mm-hmm. called me in. And I turned around and I just pulled it out. And he stood there. And I go, what's going on? He goes, I'm going to kill my man. Mm-hmm. Right? But I knew you have asked me to come mm-hmm. in here because mm-hmm. you know I'm going to talk you mm-hmm. out of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah right. That's, so I already <laughs> knew my place. Yeah, yeah. You're from it, you understand it, but you're sensible. Mm. So he was, so he still did the man thing, like, I'm going to kill him. And I went, no, you're not. Yeah. I said, listen, you've got too much to live for. And I said, mm. you guys are already in what you're in. I said, you might even get the one up on him. I said, but you know it's a matter of time. You know it's a matter of time. Because yeah. it has to, because these people can't let that lie. Yeah, they yeah, can't. Yeah, yeah. It, mm. Right? It will just get messy. And mm. I said, and whatever you guys are going through, it's not that serious. That's right. It's not that serious, mm. right? And I remember, and I never forget it, man. Bless him, man. He, he looked at me and he had the knife. And I remember I just took it off him and he goes, bro, that's why I love you. Right? Yeah. And I knew we didn't need to say it, but I knew that's why I called you in here. Because mm-hmm. if I called any of the other man, they would say, let's go do that. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But Richard's the guy that will just make me, I'm still cool. Yeah. Right? Do you know what I mean? I'm still yeah. cool. Right? Yeah. And it's like, but Richard's the voice of reason. Mm-hmm. And, and this is what I'm trying to say. So there's a kinship. Mm. Between us, not everybody's just like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah, you got yeah. different people that play different roles within yes. our black community. Yes, right. does it make sense? Yeah, mm-hmm. and what we need to do is we not we need to start showing more affiliation, right? Where people are stepping up and going, "No, nah, brother, you're not getting involved in that because you guys are making real money." Mm-hmm. You're making money that these guys have paid the way for you to get, mm-hmm. right? Do you know what I mean, like, and and guess what? Police stop you, and you're going, "Yeah, that's my pee." Yeah. And the police, guess what? They end up letting you go oh, yeah, with yeah, your pee. Yeah, 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 Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Right? You've got yeah. 30, 40 bags in the car and they can't even confiscate it. Yeah. Right? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's from a gig. Check that. Yeah, yeah. Do a gig. yeah actually, he did do the gig in blah, blah. And shout, they just got to let you in. Out, yeah, yeah, yeah. Young ads. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah they just yeah, got to yeah. let you go. They to let him go with that, that money there still. Go. And imagine shout how they must out. have yeah. felt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they'll feel it. And it's funny enough, the video they were filming was Destin. Destiny, mm. Mm. if you listen to the song and you check the lyrics, mm. yeah, it has a lot of meaning to it. And mm. funny enough, the feds come to shut it down. But you see what I'm saying? Yeah. This that's is the position. That's the, the position they're in. You get what I'm that. saying? Yeah. And this is my. This mm. is why I say that for me, it's like we we need to start showing that kinship between maybe the older lot, right, where they can start to see that and realize. Part of the reason why I'm here is because people need to see that, mm-hmm. right? They need to see that. Listen, we have a kinship but we come from different walks of life. That's right. But we still have a kinship. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, and that's, so you don't, guess what? If you're not bad, you're just not bad, but that's mm. okay. If there's any example that could hit home big enough, mm. the mafia, yeah, they were immigrants in America, as we know, mm-hmm. right? Came from Sicily, parts of Italy, and they came over and they stayed in different parts of Brooklyn and blah, blah. Whatever, whatever, bed style, whatever it was. This is great game you're about to spit. I know where you're going with this. Yes. Go ahead. All right. Kick it to them. Let them know. So they stuck together. So here's the thing. Now, the five families had their little internal beefs, but what they would do, the heads would all come together and go, okay, first of all, you can't touch a head guy. Mm. I don't even care if he's in our area and you see him. You cannot touch him. Right? That's the first thing. But secondly, if you want to touch somebody in another click, you need to get that passed. Mm -hmm. You need to get that passed because... If not, 
our soldiers will come deal with you and vice versa. So there, so after a while, you, it made you kind of go, is it worth it? Because yeah. I need to get that passed, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. And think about it. If I get, if I go and put it forward and they go, it's not good enough. Now that man knows I've got a little discrepancy with him mm -hmm. that I can't do nothing about. Mm -hmm. But so he now knows that me and him don't really reason because I've mm -hmm. told them, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And he's looking at me like, yeah. So already there's a problem, yeah, right? Yeah. But there's a line. And, and most nine times, nine times out of 10, they didn't pass that line. But this is what they did. People in their area that were the straight laced, mm -hmm. yeah, they might pay them a little change for the shop, say, listen, we're gonna protect you, just a little change, blah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah, Maybe yeah. they did that, okay. But here's the thing, nobody is robbing your shop. Yeah. You can walk down the street with a hundred pound in your pocket hanging out, nobody's robbing you, yeah. right? You can walk with your Rolex, nobody's tapping you, mm. right? Because if they tap you, right, they're seeing us and mm. we're taking it, very, we're making an example, the repercussions. right, repercussions. So therefore, if you look at when they talk about John Gutty and blah, blah, the people in the community, you look at the interviews, he was a lovely guy, that guy, I love that guy. Yeah, because yeah, they yeah, felt yeah. safe. It's like when he, mm. John Gutty's gone, what are we gonna do? Yeah, right, yeah. because now, <laughs> yeah, yeah, do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. so what it was, because their thing is, we only beef with people that are on our level and even then, it needs to get passed. Yeah. But this is what happened. They're building up their enterprise building up the enterprise to the point where they no longer are called the mafia no more. Mm -hmm. But you've got people like that in politics, yes. mm -hmm. in the judge system, mm -hmm. right? Policing. They know, if you think about it, you don't really hear people say the mafia mm -hmm. anymore. No, 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 you know no. why? It's not that they don't exist. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. that they've just merged into the higher place. Yeah, they've evolved. Yes. They've evolved. Yes. Yes. So we don't yes. need to go, but they were, they were the equivalent of a mafia yeah. gang yeah. when they were starting out. Mm. But they kept those rules, mm -hmm. right? Because they knew the end goal is where we're trying to get to. Yeah. So yeah. if you mash this up, we're going to take it personal because yeah, yeah, there's yeah, an yeah. end goal. Yeah. So you look at that and now Italians, financially, economically in America are sound. Yeah, yeah. yeah but look calm. at the size of Italy. All got their own show. The size of Italy <laughs> you know compared to about, any what? Caribbean island. Yeah. Mm. Italy's tiny. Mm. But guess what? You don't mess with them because they've done it the right way. And it always upsets me. It's like, yeah, what you, is it we don't get? Yeah, they, but they, unity is strength. They separated us. Yeah, we, no, that's they, true. Yeah, mm. and, that's and, true. And we can't find our way back together. Yeah, and, mm. that, and we mm. need to work on that. that and I feel, about, I feel like the fact that we're having this conversation now is sick because I feel people need to hear this and start to think about what is worth it. Yeah. Mm. What beef is worth it, what ain't worth it. And also like, we need to start pulling together because it's true, we're scattered. And if you're bettering, yeah. is telling you to beef, he's not your friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's just have it right. If yeah. you're mm -hmm. doing well in your life and he's saying, so what, you're not riding? Yeah. He needs to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? He just wants to see you crash and he burn. Yeah, if you've got a girl that's trying to put you in madness, what, yeah. that man says something that you're not gonna move to him. No, you mm. need to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, because I'm trying to get somewhere and you're trying to put me in a madness. Why yeah, would you do that? Yeah, 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 yeah. but it's my honour. Fuck your honour. What are you, you talking about? Yeah, yeah. What are you doing for mm. man? Yeah, exactly. Behave yourself. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can just check that one to the game. Yeah. Right, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe just take that L yeah, yeah. for the game because yeah, we're yeah. trying to get here. Mm -hmm. Do you think Kendrick Lamar's missus was saying, you better move to my man, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kendrick yeah. Lamar was on big things. Yeah, Don't yeah. worry, we've got cousins to deal with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah, I, right? When I was coming up, man, like my cousins would always, I got jumped. Um, outside my place, four guys, mm. right? And you know, they got the better of me, whatever, whatever. But I never forget my cousin, two people, one guy from the area, he goes, yo, I did hear you got jumped. Mm. He goes, that got taken care of, mm. right? Then my cousin, who's a serious dude, this is maybe a year or two years later, he goes, yo, cuz, did something? And I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, nah. He goes, they don't know where you come from. Right. So we had to talk to somebody about mm -hmm. that. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. How are they gonna mess up what you're trying to do, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. acting like you don't have savages mm -hmm, around mm -hmm. you? Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But that's what it was about. Their yeah. thing is like, you can't touch him. He's doing something for us. Yeah, yeah, you better yeah, believe yeah. it. You know what mm -hmm, I mean? So bro. guess what? We're gonna take it very personal. Just the yeah. other day, right? What my boy Steve, he said, yo, you get into a fight the other day? So I said, no. He said, oh. Car and then his bedroom coming up and said, Yo, Richie, yeah, I my, one girl he was with mm. said, Yeah, I think I see Richie arguing with one guy. Then I look again and he's knocked out the guy on the floor. So I said, As much as that sounds nice, I said, I was in Liverpool, so I said, It wasn't me. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> it sounds good, but man can't be troubling big RB right now. No, busy, right now. Exactly. But, but, no, but I can't touch A. Listen, no, the man can't, can't be touching. But, but nah. here the cry though, what made me laugh was that she came back to him. And he just grabbed the something and he ran back out there, Come on. right? 
And oh. he goes, I came out there and I looked and I saw the man on the floor. So he goes, I just went back in the car. And I was like, first of all, thank you. He goes, what you got? He goes, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. do that to you at yeah, all yeah, and yeah, think yeah, that it's just yeah. going to be okay. But people don't right? get that mentality. They don't understand. They don't get that they don't mentality. They don't get it. Yeah, you see that mentality there, like, protect, like, you protect know, we the spoke king. of protect the king. Thank you. Protect, we protect the, the king. king. Because it's not every, complex. It's not complex. And if people, if you don't know about it, go back and check that one. That's what you I'm get saying. What I'm saying? Go and check that episode. Got to right? protect That's your what it's about. You've got to protect your king. Everybody's got to play their lane yes. because eventually our kids mm-hmm. have got to be the ones that reap what we what we've established. Mm-hmm. So when we're sitting back and we watch them, our kids have got to be able to come up to us and say, Dad, you know what? I feel like just traveling for a year. Mm-hmm. Got, yeah, there's fun to go. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Go do that. Mm-hmm. Go see the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I might go to Thailand and India, wherever you want to go. Because mm-hmm. we see white people doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? That's what we should be aiming for. Not, mm-hmm. oh, guess what? Look what I've got the chain. It's like, no, no, no. Better. You've got to be in mm-hmm. a place where, like, my son is saying he's doing his driving lessons. So I said, yeah, I'll pay for that and I'll buy you a car. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. What he's doing mm-hmm. isn't for him. Yeah. You know them ones? Yeah, yeah. I know you're a real man, so I can say it without yeah, straight, asking you. Straight. What yeah. he's doing isn't for him. Yeah. There comes a point in your life where you know, like, yeah, good, must. But it's not for me. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's for my son and yeah. so on and so yeah. forth. Yeah. So I understand it's like that. Like I want to set you up so you're not gonna have to go through things yeah, yeah, and have pattern. to experience certain yeah. things and stuff. Yeah, man. You know. So salute to RB. Yeah. What's Talk them Hollyoaks? Speaking of Hollyoaks, what's it saying over them sides? Can no man's living good? I want a day in the life. You know, no, I ain't gonna lie to you, right? No, no. I know, but I'm just, I'm just giving it, I'm just setting it up. Yeah, no, I think it's a slam dunk. No, no, it's a layup. He did a layup. It was a lovely layup, though. He went like that. He went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You get me? No, I appreciate you. That's what let you know. I appreciate you. Right? No, do you know what? Right? First things first. I. It was the first show that I didn't need to audition for. That's the first thing. So, and I was really, I was doing a play called Typical in the West End. Come on. And, um, and it was doing very well. And literally my agent said, oh, Hollyoaks want you. And I said, well, they were, we're going to do that. Right? Mm-hmm. So literally. <laughs> yeah. What are you what, telling what? me for? You got the paperwork? Yeah. yeah. That's all I want to hear is, <laughs> yeah. where am I signing? What's really going yeah. on? Oh, right? <laughs> what what that? contract mm-hmm. there? This, yeah, this, kind of, this conversation is a bit weird. Yeah. Right? So, so, so basically, he, um, so we, we'd signed a contract. I moved up there from January 5th. And I tell you this, and I'm a true Londoner. Mm. But the thing with Liverpool that I will say, first of all, the cost of living. Let's just establish that. So, you know, I put up pictures of my place. My place is a penthouse. My friends that have come up, they've seen pictures. Like my sister came up the other day and my sister said, bruv, like she lives in Windsor. My sister went, bruv, nah. She goes, this actually takes the piss. Right, she goes, it actually takes a piss. She goes, it's yeah. so rascal up big. I said, sis, what I'm paying for it a month, I paid more mm-hmm. for a one bedroom here. Mm-hmm. But here's the other side. I've been to London now, maybe, since, well, obviously with my mum, I've been down a lot more. Mm. But I've been to London, I can count mm. the amount of times I've been to London since I've been up there. Mm. And it's so sad, I don't miss London no more. But only, and not that I'm not proud of London, mm. but only because I realized London, is essentially a place where you're supposed to make your money and dig up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut. Right, and cut, right? Now, don't get wrong, I think it's good that our kids grow up here because they, 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 they can live here, they can live anywhere. Mm-hmm. There's an edginess to London mm. that sometimes I think you just need to have, mm-hmm. right? There's a certain thing where, excuse my French, you're not a dickhead. There's yeah, just, yeah, I don't care yeah, what part of London yeah. you grow up in, mm. you just have to be on your P's and Q's yeah. living in London. Mm. So then when you move out, you're the baddest man in your area. Yeah, right, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And not that they're not bad, but you know that where I'm from. This ain't mm. nothing like it. Listen, you gotta be very, very careful. Yeah. Right, do you know what I mean? Road rage can end you up dead mm. in London. Yeah, yeah. Right, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You need to know who you're bibbing at like that. Mm. Right, do you know what I mean? Like London is a serious place. But because we're acclimatized to it, we just know it as is. Mm. Right? Because when you come out, bruv, I'm walking down the street and people are going, Hello, how you doing? And I'm like, and they don't recognize me. Yeah. They're just saying hello. Just saying hello. I think I'm being set up. Because where we're from, yeah, yeah, yeah. the man yeah, says hello. Yeah. You go, what do you mean hello? Because yeah, hello. They, yeah. <laughs> looking around like, yeah, yeah. who's he talking to? I ain't got a good morning for yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. That's where we're from, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So then you realise that, wait a minute. Then I'm working on Hollyoaks. Yeah. And the treatment is, I love the EastEnders. But the treatment on Hollyoaks is second to none. Mm. The, and I think it's because they're Northern. 
just yeah, yeah, the f- that northerners yeah, yeah, are much more hospitable. They're just a, yeah. in general they're more inviting and yeah. nice people. Do you yeah. go up there like for the games and stuff? I've been up there yeah for a few. Things. Yeah, I can imagine because mm. they they're really loving yeah. mm. of they, and they really the weirdest thing is <laughs> Londoners we think everybody's a chief besides us. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, the yeah. way we are. But up north. It's different. Cause I go Newcastle. Like, I go Liverpool. A bit. Okay, so okay. That's why I was asking if you mm. live up there. Yeah, I'm, I'm living. I'm in Liverpool a, a fair bit, so yeah. I know how it stays. Yeah, yeah I different. mean, they're not. They're not stupid. Yeah, no. yeah. And 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 the thing is, but here's the thing, they were the first port that black people stopped at. I mean, they had slaves mm. originally come there. So the history of black people in Liverpool is completely different to let's say like our parents came over in the Windrush. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they, the ports were Liverpool. Cardiff, um, and there's one other place in London. I, you know, and some of our parents just stayed on all the way to London, but some mm. of them got off because it was like mm. the boat ride was long, yeah. right? <laughs> but no, it's true, right? <laughs> but here's the thing: when, but then they were the slaves were originally being transported to Liverpool, mm. so there was black people in Liverpool 400 years ago, mm. right? Do you know what I mean, and that's why black Liverpool people they they're a bit they don't play no games. Yeah. There are, there's a hard edge to them that if you get on the wrong side of them, you are going to know about it. They have a oh, no no very do you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know yeah, some gases, serious it's, some it's, serious it's, gases don't fuck about. No, yeah, they, yeah. you think about it. They're the only ones. Like if you think about my guy, he had the gym in Liverpool when they was closing them down, and my guy was like, nah, keep it open, yeah. right? So like he kept it open. They was fine. And he said that's fine. So he got all the other gyms to mm. back him. Yeah. And then what did he do? He called them up and heard them saying we're trying to steal his money. He actually mm. heard them and he recorded mm. them. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, he played it back to them and said, you're trying to steal my money. Mm. Next, you know, all the gyms are open again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Liverpool's like that. Liverpool, yeah. they will protest. They were protesting every day. I've said yeah, that yeah, before, yeah. like Liverpool is, is like a little island to itself. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't, yeah, yeah they're, literally. They're, 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 it's like a little island to itself. They're, they're different. They're different. Yeah, yeah. They're, different they're, different. they're lovely. So what it's done for me now is whenever, you know, Hollyoaks finishes, and obviously Hollywood's always a dream and it, and it mm. still is, but, but what it is is that I can't tell you if it's London I'm moving back to, and and only because Fair enough. I I I mean I'm not writing it out or writing it off sorry, but my thing is is that I've realised now that what you're paying for mm-hmm. in London, London is trying to keep you in a place where you're just above the red if you're lucky. When the money does come in and I'm I'm in a position, I would kind of push Ken or Easily. maybe push you know Surrey or, yeah it's the way to and go then, because I'm used to the commuting because I was living off ends and commuting to and from like every day I was driving hour and a half I was Bracknell so you know where that yeah, is yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. every day I was coming gym in Crayford mm-hmm. oh yeah yeah, Crayford, yeah so yeah. I was gymming so I kind of got used to the commuting mm. so I know that if I was to go an hour or two out mm-hmm. like it would be like I'll still commute yeah 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 but yeah. I feel like London now like you said it is like kind of overpriced and it's like, it's played out like, at the end of the day, you can come and have your fun and cut, cut out. But even now, I don't even think I would want to raise my kids there. Do you get what I'm saying? The reason well, I because... moved to where I live now is because just, yeah. kids, I had it pre-planned before. I yeah. said I didn't want them to, I didn't want them to grow up in the environments like that. I wanted them to have a better social circle. Better... Do you know what, right? I, I don't know if anybody's said it, but you you need to get totally bigged up for, because I, I've obviously I've watched you come up, yeah? And then I've kind of gotten to know you through mm. this and, you know, mm. I speak in occasionally, whatever, not. But you seem to be the um, template of if you're going to do the road thing, this is what you do and this is how you get out. Mm-hmm. You, I mean, you you seem to be the template because you, because I listen to things that you say and it sounds like from young, you always had a conditioning like I heard you say, like when things were getting a bit tough and you didn't talk to that girl again or whatever, whatever. When she said, "Oh, that doesn't sound attractive," and blah blah mm. blah. But it's like, and you was what eighteen or whatever then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was kind of right? nineteen, I think. So, so you're as a teenager where you could be highly influenced by being gassed or whatever, mm-hmm. but you're still very much of like, no, that the plan is the plan. Mm. So if we have to tighten up, we have to tighten up. Mm-hmm. And you know, at nineteen, to be that clued in a world that's not forgiving. In a world mm. where you have to be a savage mm. to, yeah, so you have to be, because I always say, like I've always played bad guys on EastEnders and blah, blah, and they say, how do you do it? And I say, you've got to play the truth. The truth is, is that they take it to a line that maybe me, I wouldn't be able to take it to, mm. right? Their truth, their, their line is further, mm. Mm. right? So if a man disrespect me, I might be able to go allow it. And if he gets mm. rude, then I might thump him down and we mm. have a fight, but I'm not going to kill him, mm. right? But somebody else, 
he might murder you. Mm. And you might go, well, that's a bit harsh. Like, but that's his truth. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Right, do you know what I mean? It doesn't mean, mean that he's a horrible guy. My truth is this, so guess what? Don't even engage with me here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my truth is that, and I can tell by your manner, that you are not willing to go the same as me. So let's just keep it moving, mm, yeah. right? So that's how you play the truth of a villain is yeah. that you know that they're yeah. like, so I remember the first time I auditioned for EastEnders and they said to me, we want you to threaten a guy. Mm. So initially I was gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna do this and that. So then I went, no, actually it's every day. Yeah. Mm. So I just looked at him mm. and I said, listen, if we have to go there, mm. then I'm gonna probably break that part of your neck. It's gonna hurt a little bit, mm. yeah. right, do you know what I mean? But then after that, I'm gonna push a knife through there. Mm. So it'd be quick. Right, do you know what I mean? Right. It will hurt, but it'll be quick. Mm. Straight away, it's like, rotted. He has no emotion. It's like, yeah, because I've done this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? This is a killer has done this before. Yeah. A guy yeah. that sold drugs, it's not the first time he sold drugs. Mm. So when he's describing, you said it on the first podcast, man. And you said, um, Chucky is my boy, Chucky Online. And you said, when he was talking to my guy about prison and he was like, rah, rah, rah. Mm, yeah. Big right. up Chucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah Chucky's my boy. Chucky. We've been, we've been boys know, from day one. I don't know how you felt about right. that still. But yeah, yeah, no, Chucky's my boy. He knows he I love him, right? Is. But what you said mm. is what brought the difference, mm. which is that you were sitting there going, that's a normal thing to me. So when I'm talking to somebody like that, I'm not going raw, I'm just going, it's what it is. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. And that's the difference, mm, yeah. right? Do you know what I mean? So mm. that's what you play when mm. you're playing a bad guy. You don't go raw, you go the opposite way. Completely. It's just the norm. Completely. It's just it's what I do. It's normal. It's, that, that's what I'm saying, yeah. right? So anyway, um, I, 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 what was the thing I was, I was saying? Sorry, I, did, I digress when I brought that up. What was the last thing I was saying? Sorry. You were saying, um... Oh, you were saying that basically about playing the role and it being the norm and their truths. Yeah, no, and but there was something I was saying before that, which is the reason why I went I just there. repeated exactly what you just said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's good, though. It's good, though. I like that, Doug. I yeah, like that, still. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, 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 Doug's like, yeah. you just said yeah. what you just said. Exactly, you just said 10 seconds before. No, no, no. but no, but no, that. that was it. No. Sorry, sorry, no. that was it. Go on, go on. So so big up my brother, Doug, though, for life. No, 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 if there's a way to do it, mm. that's the way. Because it seems that even things probably got messy at a certain time. I, can, I know life is tough. Mm. But you've always seemed, and you correct me if I'm wrong, mm. but you've always seemed like you've had your, your eye on the prize yeah. through all of that. Because when I hear you speak, you speak, even though you don't say too much, which is wise, mm. but you speak like a man that's completed the game. Okay. So the same way the roads are, the same way entertainment is, you need to clock each level. It's really that simple, mm -hmm. right? So when I was doing stand up, I clocked stand up, mm. right? I made sure when I was going on stage, I don't care if you're going on before or after mm. me, you better be good. Mm -hmm. And yeah. comedians will attest to this because mm -hmm. I'm coming to eat everything. I'm yamming everybody's food, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. No, that was my attitude. That's the right? attitude you got. Yeah, yeah I'm yamming everybody's like, food, yeah, 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 right? You know, when you're sparring, it's mm -hmm. like we're we're sparring, but when we we touch gloves and we go, mm -hmm. I'm trying to kick you in the head. Then afterwards, mm -hmm. we're cool, mm -hmm. right? Do you know what I mean, if you kick me first, then that's your business. But mm -hmm. I'm trying to take your head off for this mm -hmm. moment. But we're still boys, though, right? Do you know what I mean, because I'm trying to I'm trying to get better, mm -hmm. right? Do you know what I mean, so so once you clock stand up, somebody above will hear. Mm -hmm. They just do. They hear like, rah, this person there is killing it on the circuit. So that's how MTV came. Mm -hmm. Because a woman called Tulip was devising a show where she wanted a comedian that could go off script. Mm -hmm. And all the comedians were saying, Richard Black was the guy. This is 96, mm -hmm. right? Richard Black was the guy. So when I auditioned, I didn't know that she already knew of me. She told me, not only did she want me, she said, I wrote it for you. Mm -hmm. Because your streets were talking, right? So mm -hmm. then when I got MTV, right? At first when I did MTV, I did a year, the graveyard shift. I was doing MTV bass when it was just a show and not a channel, yeah. right? And I was doing that show and I was bringing out yeah. songs and blah, blah, blah. But it wasn't really doing that well. And then Trevor Nelson got the lick. So any show blew up. Yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. thinking they was going to fire me. And they was like, no, we love you as a person. We're just going to try and find something for you. Yeah. So then I did little graveyard shift shows here and there. And then what happened was, was um, two things. And that's why I said, God is watching. So first of all, Donna Air used to always be drunk coming into work so sometimes she wouldn't turn up mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. she's just partying she's 18 
So, and I don't drink, right? Even though I'm drinking this menace, right? But I've never been drunk in my life, right? So they would say to me, Richard, um, are you doing anything tomorrow? And I said, no. And they go, could you cover for Donna? Because she's not in. I said, yeah, cool, extra pay. Mm -hmm. I come in and I do my star. I'm just messing with the camera. Mm -hmm. So this is before people talk to the cameraman and stuff. So I'm with the camera and I go, yo, what's your name behind the camera? And he got, I said, no, 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 you, it's live. So you got to talk. Otherwise mm -hmm. we're not going to move on. So yeah, what's your yeah. name? Then I give him a nickname and blah, blah, blah. So it never been un done on TV before. Yeah. So I was doing that. So kids were watching going, this guy's mad. He's I can remember me. this, you know. Yeah. As he's saying it, you know, can you remember it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As he's yeah, saying yeah, it, it's yeah, like, yeah. right, I remember this, you know. Yeah. It's mad. I, I can remember watching it. Yeah, yeah, I was just talking mm. to the people because, I, because I'm a comedian, so I need to bounce off someone. Mm. So if I've got somebody in the room that I'm bouncing off of, if I'm making you guys laugh, it's transcending. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I can yeah, gauge yeah. it. If you're not yeah. laughing, then the yeah. audience is not oh, laughing man. down there. Yeah. So I would do that, mm. right? Yeah. So they thought it was revolutionary. I was just like, I'm trying to save myself. I'm trying to be funny. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, do you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, so I'm, I was doing that. Mission. But then Channel 4 was hearing that this guy is changing the game. I did an advert saying, watch MTV, not just me, mm -hmm. for MTV. That's mm -hmm. how big I was becoming. But mm -hmm. I didn't know, I was 27, mm -hmm. right? So then... Channel 4 came to me and literally I had a meeting with them. They said, would you like your own show with your own name? And I said, would I? <laughs> right? And I said, well, you, yes. They said, okay, we're going to give you that. Right? So they gave it to me, but it's because I clocked that level. Mm. MTV was done. Right? So then I got Channel 4. Mm. Right? So this is what I'm trying to say. Then after that, I went to America, blah, blah. Then a bankruptcy happened and then I had to come back. But guess what? I had to start again. I was doing little shows here and there, mm. building the resume. Right, do you know what I mean? So that actors couldn't say, but he's just got here. It's like, no, 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 no. no, no. He's, he's planting his seed doing shows. Mm -hmm. yeah. There you juice. go. Yeah. So then when I got Shrek, mm. I started to kill it in the show. People were talking, it was selling out. Come on. I got Captain Hot Tin Roof first, then I got that. And let's, and remem it, let's remember Shrek, the original is Eddie Murphy. So and it, the guy that cast him cast me. Mm -hmm. There you go. So yeah, yeah, so go yeah no, that's all right. Right, so literally when I got that, um, BBC EastEnders, wrote the character for me. But once mm -hmm. again, I had to audition because mm -hmm. they needed to know I could do it. Mm -hmm. Came in, did the audition and I got the role. I Listen, man, and I love Steve McFadden. He's my boy, he plays Phil. Mm. But I'm the first person to knock out Phil Mitchell on his I was going to say, salute for that still. You had to put hands on Phil and let it be one of the man them. <laughs> let it be one of the man them. Oh, what the look. fuck's happening here? <laughs> you know that Phil would have been like, what the fuck's happening You know what? You know what? I had to show them. Hands on Phil. Harry, I did that telephone and went bang. Right? And I choreographed that. Yeah, yeah, Right, you I mean? Because they had a fight. I said, no, I could. I got that. I said, are you throwing a, a, a hook? And he went, yeah. And I went, yep. I'm sliding down the middle. Whap. Yeah, right, yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? Because people need to know that I can fight. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 It was for yeah, people yeah, at home yeah, going, yeah, okay, yeah. no, he studies something. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? I was all in. Yeah. <laughs> but Phil was like, yeah, no, nah, was all in. <laughs> it's all in. Right? Yeah, 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 you know what I mean? Right down the middle. Yeah, yeah. And literally, I remember it came out on my birthday. And my boy called me up and said, yo. Because I was out. Mm. He goes, bruv. Mm. You just knocked out Phil on Come TV. On. He goes, I nearly yeah. kicked over my TV. Mm -hmm. Right? And I said, mm -hmm. I said, he goes, no, he goes, black community has gone mad. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, You've yeah, just knocked him out. Because the man them love Phil, you know. Yeah, yeah, Phil's cool. a goon. Hey, yeah. Phil. Hey, no, the man them feel Phil. Phil's one of the man them. Phil's one of the man, man them, blood. Yeah, you can't I just knock him out. Phil, even no, when he's no. wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See when he's wrong, when he, see when he was drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See when he was drunk, Phil. Yeah. Phil's my dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Drunk Phil was hard for me. Yeah, drunk And if you see him acting that, Phil was real. He'll be normal here. We're just talking. Nah, he's an incredible actor. He's an incredible actor. And he's from Harlem. You know, he's from he's from, he's from, yeah, from he's the roads. Yeah. Come on, that's no, like... no, he's from the roads. His family mm, are, are mm, about it. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, His family are about it. So, like, he, he, we, we were talking, he would talk about Lovers Rock and, you know, you know about Janet Kay. And I go, well, you know about Janet Kay. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, he yeah. knows his stuff. He's yeah. Halston. Come right? on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so he's, so he's to... man them. He's yeah, North Weezy. Yeah, 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 Steve North McFadden. Large I've got to big him up because he's a lovely guy. But literally, right, after that, my whole life changed. Yeah. So then when I did that for a while, I did it for three years. And then, as I said, Hollyoaks. So I clocked EastEnders. Mm. Now I'm I'm trying to clock Hoyoks. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why I say to people out there, listen, it's not about and this is gonna sound horrible, you know, and I don't mean it to be horrible, but my thing is like just just be on your grind and do it. Yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Because please I, take note, everyone. Yeah. Come on, man. No, because you guys, I mean, if you're not <laughs> going through it already, mm, yeah. mm, you're gonna mm, start to go through it I'm where people see it. your platforms yeah. doing mm. well. And man DM and said, So what, bruv, man can't come on the show. Yeah. And yeah, you're yeah. going, No, no, you can't come yeah, on the show. Yeah, what yeah, are you yeah. gonna talk mm -hmm, about? Mm -hmm, right? Yeah, do you know what I mean? Right? Then you get this is a good snippet for next week. And this is a tremendous snippet. Talk to them. No, I thought to take a henny break while you No, no, take a henny break. Take a henny break. But it's like literally, you, 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 you like because everybody <laughs> thinks that their story is something that people want to hear.
Yeah. Right? If no, what man's been through, they don't know who you are now. Mm, yeah, what yeah, you need yeah. to do is get yourself to a place where they want to care about yeah, what you've yes. been through. Mm -hmm, yeah, just yes. a dude walk up and go, rock, man's been in wars, you know? Good for you. Good. Right? Do you know what I mean? Man's been in prison. Yeah, 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 cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. And it's not that you're being horrible. You've got to remember. It's business. It's, bi it's business. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, what you think you're offering, mm. like, oh, man would send me music, like, even back in the day, and they'll play me a tune. Like, one guy sent me an uh, Instagram and he goes, could you like my, my page or, or my song? When I heard the song, I was like, I can't like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is garbage. Yeah. What, are you, what are you trying to do to my brand? Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? But to him, it's the best. And I'm like, Come no, because no episode, one's telling you the truth. This not, this not it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not ready. I'm not this, that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, so. but this is what I'm trying to... Yeah, because he ain't watched it yet. Yeah, he no, no, this tonight's well, episode this 14. Tonight. Well, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, Someone we needs to tell them. Yeah. Last week. No, I'm glad that you did that. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But that yeah, means yeah, that you guys yeah, are on that. That's why it's the winning mm -hmm. podcast. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right, do you know what I mean? Because it's so important that people want the hurry come up. And it really infuriates me because it's like, you're not... If Kevin Hart posts a picture, like Kevin Hart's my boy, I've never asked Kevin Hart to post anything for me, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Because I know that Kevin Hart's audience doesn't give a shit about me. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna look at his page and go, who's that? Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. They're just gonna swipe mm -hmm. past, who's yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, Richard yeah. who? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, right, do yeah. you know what I mean? And no, Kevin, I want you to post about your movies and your day. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is Richard Blackwood, that's nice. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No yeah. one gives a shit, yeah, 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 right, yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? Because we're on Kevin Hart's page for Kevin Hart. That's right, Don't yeah. get me wrong, if you're advertising like you got your clothing line, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah, that's yeah. different, yeah. right, do you know what I mean? So me wearing your clothing line, that's different because mm -hmm. it's like, because it shows that you're working and I'm working mm -hmm. with you. Yeah, 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 but I'm not mm -hmm. giving you something, yeah, yeah, right, do yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Right, you know what I mean? You said to me, listen, bro, you don't need to wear it, but I will. Yeah, and I yeah. will take a picture of it because yeah. that's who I am, yeah. right? Do you know what I mean? That's it. Yeah, but the fact that you even said you don't need to do that mm. is the reason why I would do it, yeah, right? Like, because yeah. you're not asking for nothing. Do you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I just maybe it's wrong for me to be that way, you know? No, but, but I I'm, get it. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, like, I like things to be organic. You see, like, yes. if a man, like, if I see something, because I see a lot of stuff, like social media, everything, I see it. So when I see certain things that my people are doing, I'll share it organically. Yes. Because my people are doing the way. it. Yeah, that's but then yeah. when I get DMs from people that I don't even know like that, and they're like, yo, fam, share this for me. Mm. You so, think you're cheeky. Yeah, I think, well, but what have you shared of mine? You get what I'm saying? Like, you've not organically just shared and some we, of my shit, exactly. and I've noticed that you've and we done definitely, it. And we definitely wouldn't ask you to do and it. And we wouldn't ask you to do it. Mm. But if you've done it, like, organically, and he's like, da -da, and you're like, oh, Dougie, look, you've got a little following or whatever. Do you mind doing this? I'd be like, bro, you've been showing me mad, mad love. love. Yeah, mm. let me do mm. it. What else mm. you got? Send it. Do you get Send what I'm it. saying? Like, mm. you get what I mean? Like, mm. that's how I work. And yeah, I yeah you're that, right. And I see how you're the yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I feel like it, it's true. People want the fast come up, and then all of a sudden they'll fuck with you because of that. It puts them in a position. It's not because they're doing you a favour. It's like, you get what I'm saying? It's always mm. to kind of put their self in a position to, it is. But it to, to get work, them somewhere. Though. Yeah, I, And I don't mean to cut you, but it doesn't It doesn't work because what God's got ordained for you is yours, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? It's yours, mm -hmm. right? So you think that God doesn't see that my man here in his, regardless of how he's smiling, yeah. You think that God doesn't know that your heart is saying, let me just leech on to my man. Yeah. God's mm. heard it. Mm. So yeah. God's gone, don't worry, I've already put things in because mm. maybe he's such a nice guy, he doesn't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah, maybe yeah. he'll help you just because. That's but right. I put things in place that as you're getting to that next door, you, you, things are just going to go, I can't grip onto him. Yeah, Something's yeah. going to happen where you mm. slide the F off, mm. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, because positive and negative can't share the same space. Yeah. So he can't or she can't come with you. Yes. Mm. They can't, like what you said about the girl. Yeah. That, I mean, she's probably a friend now, but she couldn't come with you mm -hmm. on that journey yeah, because yeah. she ended up mashing yourself up if you are not strongly oh, convinced. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yes. Right? And that's, yes. so now you guys now in this room, you're all, even though you're family and whatever not, but you're all on the same thing, yep. which is they're mm -hmm. trying to clock this game. That's this right. Thing, right? Yeah. And mm -hmm. trust me when I say, right, and I'm not saying it to you like you don't know it. Yeah. But eventually, you're gonna see, and not eventually is in far from now, mm. everybody's gonna wanna be on the show because it's gonna be a show that you need to be on to get through. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna yeah. be a show mm -hmm. where it's like, right, mm -hmm. you know what, I need to do that show in order to just even be mm -hmm. seen. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. Because yeah, the, yeah. The, that, that's why I like the fact I that- appreciate, I appreciate, I appreciate no, you yeah, saying yeah, yeah, it. No, that, it's, it's real, it's real, it. yeah. it's real. And, and, and part of that is, number one, all the things I said, but it's because you're, once again, I keep calling God, but God looks at what your heart's about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And your hearts are about making sure that the next generation can do better. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and people don't understand. Like I said before,
hurting people and being selfish. God goes, mm-hmm. okay, your truth has got to then come back and bite you because yeah, yeah. you're not getting what this is about. about yeah. mm-hmm. This is not about you. You, yeah. pay, you play a role in this world. Now, don't get me wrong. You might reap these great things because yeah. of what you put in, but you're still just a story. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. there's someone richer than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's yeah, somebody yeah. doing better than you. you. Might be rich, mm-hmm. but you might be mm-hmm. emotionally drawn. Yeah, hit the right. Do you know what I mean? Come so, on. so my, that's why I say you guys are just clocking each level, and I'm telling you, as there's a God above me, soon enough, you're going to be on this show, and people are going to be to the point where you are having to employ somebody or something where they're like, bruv, I, there's a waiting list, you know, it's like a watch. Mm-hmm. There's a waiting list, you know, I've done. I appreciate that one, you Jesus, saying man. that. Telling you. We received that. Yeah, no, no, and, and you know what? God's, sometimes God sends people vicariously to send messages. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Right, do you know what I mean? I just feel compelled to say it. I appreciate yeah. you saying it. No, you no. Re- you you reaffirm thoughts and things that are discussed. Yeah, yeah. We, we talk a no. lot. Um, like, we, you know, it's not even like talk a lot and just like, we, you know what, we're looking at the situation where we're taking it all in mm. and being grateful for the situation, mm. but realising how quick things have progressed yeah and understand it. it's it's not just there's there's god's work at hand yes it we, is because we, we, we believe we've got faith yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 100 so we, we understand that it's not just like by luck yeah there's the things because like we said in the previous episode we could have done this we tried to do this before lockdown yeah i remember you guys were talking about yeah it, yeah yeah and, about it. and it just didn't happen and we then i think one time i hit you up and was like right what about, like what about the video link or we, we spoke yeah, about it about the video yeah about like because like, like, a lot of zoom and Instagram and people's like, nah, nah, like that, like, 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 yeah. Because the quality shit, like, yeah. let's just let's stick to the let's stick to the. We script. need to be in yeah. the room together and yeah. so on and so stick to what we had planned. Yeah, I mean, I reached out to him, you know. Yeah, and I, I have no problem saying that, mm. and I'm a proud man. Mm-hmm. I'm a Taurus, so I'm sensitive, mm-hmm. yeah. right? So I had to think about it, like, should I, should I not? Because that's just who I am, mm-hmm. yeah. right? But I thought, no, I, he needs to know. Yeah, 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 yeah. He needs to know, yo, this is mm. good. Yeah. Right, do you know what I mean? And then literally the response that he gave me, I was like, rah. So yeah. we were going back and forth mm. for yeah, a little yeah. while, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you reached out, he's like, bro, thanks for love. And I thought, no, that's nice. They're like yeah, these, yeah. these. So I'm going now to Bobby, I'm going, yo, them man there are cool, you know? Yeah, and he goes, really? He goes, you know what? Yeah, I just get... yeah. So like, he's man, excited. Saying the same thing. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're like, yeah. rah, because when I see your message and that. Because what like, it is, the, the, the times of standoffishness and all that with another black man and all of that and not hailing each other up. I'm just dead. I'm just dead. 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 That's all dead. Yeah, it's that's a, all dead. That's what I'm saying. Like just having that attitude and being like that has brought us all together yeah, in this yeah, in this yeah, room man, where we're no. now chilling. I feel proud time. to say no, I know them. I yeah, yeah, come yeah. on. Why? Come on. No, and vice versa. Vice versa. Nah, real talk. When you, real talk, when, you when you sent the birthday thing for my son, yeah. I know oh, that, I know nice. I appreciated that so yeah, much. And I know that's real man. And I know that my people then was like, rah. Yeah. Is that what's going on? I said, yeah, 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 come yeah, on, that's nice. my friend. But thing, once man. again, that's what I'm saying. What it's about is that, so now we're peoples. Yeah. Exactly. So when he yeah. said it to me, I goes, no, that's family. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, right, yeah. do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We're peoples now. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. as I say, it's now about the next generation. He's yes. supposed to just look at that. that that's just Richard. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yes. understand? Yes. He's just supposed to look yes. at me like, who? Hip? Yeah, that's Richard. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. He's supposed yeah. to look at me like that. Mm-hmm. Where other people go, what, what, what from Hollyoaks? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, that's, yeah, that's Richard. Yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> Let, exactly, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let them exactly say that to him. That. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. now, he's in a different lane. My oldest son is like that now. Yeah. See, like with the Jaden Sancho thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. If I'd got that six years ago, you know, Jaden Sancho, he played football, he played yeah, England. If that had been five, four or five years ago, mm-hmm. he'd have been like, Jaden Sancho. Yeah, I said, yeah, Jaden Sancho. He, he said to big you up. Um, yeah. <laughs> Carry on yeah. his day. But that's where he's at now. Because yeah. he's used to it with me. Because yeah. he's had it. My youngest ain't had it. But my the, the littlest one, every year in his birthday, I used to be like, I'll get someone with his gigs. Rap yeah, man, they'll yeah, send yeah. him a video. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's kind of indoctrinated. He's grown and seen. Yeah. But my youngest now, I told my youngest that... I, um, it's like, yeah, he kept talking about Felix, Felix, because it uses fav- it's his favorite character on the thing because he I watches it. Also, blessings for that. Oh, but I see, I said, I said, <laughs> I said, Felix, I said, I know Felix, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. You don't, you don't know Felix. <laughs> I said, I don't feel it. I don't, even, Richard, you don't know Richard. But now I've yeah. noticed, fast forward a few weeks, he ain't making that save. Like, you see, yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's calm on it now. Of he's, he's calm, calm on it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now you yeah. see, you're right. He's calm on it now. You're yeah. right. It's supposed to, the, the, yeah. listen, mm. it's, supposed, it's supposed to be, because that's why I said about my story with Rick James. After a while, all these things that I people I met became normal. Yeah. So when it was time for me to, to become successful, yeah. to me, it made no sense how I couldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it's like, yeah. what you're talking about? I know who Steve Wonder is. He's been to my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah, yeah. I mean? Um, no, I can't and you. also, it normalizes them as well. Because what I'm very big on showing my kids and people in general is 
nobody's better than you. Yeah. Thank it's you. It's just yes. that the light shining on them and they've had an opportunity and it, yeah, and it yeah. makes them seem larger than life. Yeah. But then nobody's but they're better normal than normal people. They're normal people. I'm going to tell you a story. Yeah. So, um, when B.I.G. got killed, mm. right? Um, so back then, um, he was supposed to fly to the UK to yeah, do an interview. Mm. Yeah, he mm. was with me, mm. right? Mad. So literally, like, he was supposed to fly to the UK just to do an interview with me. And I remember what, and then I turned up to work. It was supposed to be in Yosh Sushi mm. in um, Dean Street mm. in West End. And I got to work, this is before internet. Got to work and they said, oh, he's dead. And I said, I said, don't be stupid. That's not even a funny joke. So no, he, he died a few hours ago. Mm. And I'm like, like, stop it. They go, no, no, no. We've got to do a mm. new show. He's dead. He got shot. Mm. So years later, I watched the movie and there's a scene in the car where Faith Evans is saying to him, mm. aren't you supposed to be in London now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every yeah. time I see that scene, my heart goes, because he was specifically come mm. for my interview, yeah, and he just chose to miss the flight, mm. and he died. Mm. Right, so this, but I say that to say, right, that these things are normal to me. I, if he had seen me, he would probably be still alive to this day. Mm. I'm a part of that history, as distant mm. as it is. I'm a part of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, you know, like, but it's to me, it's the norm in terms of yeah. Big knew who I was because he was coming mm. to see me. Mm. Yeah. Right, Dmx. He did the first ever interview he did in the UK was my show, yeah. mm. right? He wasn't doing nobody's show, and he came and he did mine, mm. and I made him do a comedy sketch. And <laughs> how I got him to do it, I said, "Listen, I, I always make the the person do a comedy afterwards." He goes, "I don't do comedy," right? Yeah. And I went, mm -hmm. "Okay." He goes, "I will tell you what," he took me up in his room, pure man, pure man sitting on the bed with his shoes, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Just tug tug, barking, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he goes, "You know what a Philly blunt is." So I was like, I don't really smoke, but I kind of know. He goes, okay. He rolled one, it was about that big. Mm. He goes, we're smoking this together. Just me and you. Mm. He goes, he, I goes, I don't smoke. He goes, and I don't do comedy. <laughs> he yeah. goes, if you smoke this with me, then I do comedy. And I shit you not. He was, I mean, this thing, he, was, he smoked it from there to mm. where it's not even, you can't see mm. it, yeah. right? But I don't know if it's God or whatever, I didn't get high at all, mm. right? And he kept on looking at me, he goes, you high? And I was like, nah. And he was like, you smoke before. I said, I swear to Christ, I, I don't, it's not my thing. Yeah, yeah. And literally I smoked. He goes, okay, that's my word. And then he did a sketch with me. Mm. Only one he ever did. Fucking hell. Right? Yeah, so this is what I'm trying to say. God like, kept you sober. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was nervous because the, the man there looked the like they were, mm -hmm. they were terrorists. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I've got to keep my P's and Q's because I don't trust this guy. <laughs> right? But this is, but that's what I'm trying to say. All these things after yeah. a while, these stories became normal. And then there's stories that you love to pass down mm -hmm. to your kids mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they're sitting there going, oh my God. And it's like, you've got stories to create. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got stories. When you yeah, write yeah. that book or whatever and you're telling people and they're going, oh my God, that's what life is yeah. about, mm. right? The story shouldn't be, when Rich did that song and he said, I wonder if the streets still remember me, mm. right? And I, that song is one of the reasons why I am the way I am mm. because he, he tells the story of these men that were doing madness yeah. and then locked up and he goes, I wonder if the road still remember me. And it's like, mm. no one cares no more. Yeah, yeah nobody cares. No one cares, no one cares. Mm -hmm. but you're yeah, living yeah. you're living in past history, talking about mm -hmm. what you used to do, and no mm -hmm. one cares no more. Yeah, my I've never wanted to be that. Mm -mm. Right, my thing is you're not going to speak about me in yesteryear. You're mm -hmm. not doing that. No, you're right, history. so I'm rewriting. You guys are doing that. So people mm -hmm. say, "Oh, Pound, well, he was a rapper," and it's like, "Yeah, but what's he doing now? Oh, he's doing his thing right That's now. Right. Yeah, That's right. you know, right now. Right. You can watch it right. No, let me type it in. You can mm -hmm. watch this is this mm -hmm. is today's one. Yeah, oh, Ross, that two point oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? So even the thing you're saying about me. You guys are doing that. You're revamping, mm. right? Which you've got years of this. Mm -hmm. But you might turn around in 10 years and, and go, okay, we've clocked that. Now it's time for us to do something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then guess what? When you're nearly my age, nearly 50, you're still current. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And people are looking at you like, why are you still here? Yeah. And yeah. it's like, because I know how to reinvent myself. Yeah. My story's not over. Yeah, you set the blueprint. Yeah, the yeah. story's not over. And yeah. guess what? I still look good. Yeah. You still have to mm -hmm. buy your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, 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 <laughs> hey, 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 on that note, on that note. They better know. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah, wrap yeah, that yeah, up. Yeah, I like yeah, that yeah, ending yeah, there still. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't hey. have said it better myself. Hey, couldn't have said it better. Still have to mind your girlfriend. Still have to mind now. Still have to grab the remote control. Yeah, car. Still have to lock off the iPad. Yeah, car. She we might uh, slide in the whip. Yeah. Winners, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Winners hey, Talking, hey, episode hey, 15. Salute to... Oh, B. Richard Blackwood, Richard the original Blackwood. pioneer. Honor, oh, no. oh, no. honor, oh, no. oh, no. and we need more guests on there. Get the guests on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna keep the listen. guests coming. Listen, yes. but listen, love.
I'm, I'm out. glad that I was part of it. So you had come on. I was here. I feel good. They're all gonna come for you now, you know. No, let them come. No, they're all gonna be like, oh, we want you on your podcast now. Mm. They weren't there before, but it is what it is. Ah. It is what it is. You know, that's you know what I mean? it, is it is what it is. is. They weren't. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, you know, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this. All yeah, you know agents all, you know what? I've yeah. heard it. Yeah, 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 nobody yeah, called yeah, my yeah. phone before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah listen, yeah. love for coming out. So love they time, reached out to me from a while back about this, just so you know. This ain't just a yesterday thing. Reached out a while back. So that's why I said these men are. Good people, not and just love. yesterday. That's yeah. Right. yeah, come on, man. Let's go. Been back and forth, man. Episode love. 15, you know we're done. Step.